G'day, g'day guys, welcome to another layout. Um, welcome to the channel. I am just getting in and just having some fun. Something that we, that I don't do a lot of is using my oxides on black or darker colored textured paper. So I've pulled out some American Crafts black textured cardstock and I've pulled out some stencils. This is one of my new stencils. I just bought a set of, I think there's 10 in the stencils. They are the Poppy Craft Stencil Kit number 43. If you want to go onto Crafts Online and get yourself some, they are, these, I'm going to use these stencils a lot. They're really up my, they're right up my alley. They're recurring patterns that aren't flowers or anything like that that see they're just different geometric shapes so there's diamond squares herringbone open herringbone just all different ones so i've pulled out some distress oxide ink colors and i'm using i'll prattle off what i'm using for you so you can i'm using so there i'm using uh saltwater taffy and I've already used uh, Wild Honey in the background there. I'm just creating some interest in the background. It doesn't, it's creating texture, but there's no depth to it. So I realized during the Christmas, my, my few Christmas layouts that I've done this month, there's been a bit of body to them all. There, there's, I've used a Oh, sorry, I've got the hiccups. Um, it's I've got the the foam tape behind a lot of things, so I'm doing this layout with it in mind to keep it a little bit flatter. So sometimes, I mean, albums are expensive; <laughs> they are not cheap, and you know you don't want to. As much as I do lots and lots of scrapbooking, you don't want to be able to fit like 10 layouts in an album. You want to be able to fit a decent amount in there. So I'm mindful of it and I try and remind myself of it. And I've got it written in front of me to remember, do you need the foam? Does it need the foam? So yeah, so just a little reminder to ourselves. Now, I cut this title out using my Cricut. I've got a Cricut Explore Air 2. I absolutely love it. I buy my Cricut mats now. I get them from, I buy the Universal brand or Poppy Crafts brand um, mats from Crafts Online. They're $2.99 a piece when they're on sale and that is the right price for me. Because if you've been here for five minutes, you know that I quite often leave my cut files on my mat and I do all my mixed media on top of the mat yes I destroy mats doing it <laughs> the foil that's a doozy that's that's a good one I reckon the the December award goes to the foil because the foil I don't know why I thought the foil wouldn't stick to the mat duh but anyway it's all good so I am, this little gadget was sent to me by Shirley. This is, now she sent it over to me. Hi Shirley, thank you so much. I absolutely love this tool. It is called, I'm going to tell you what it's called. It's by uh, Sticky Thumb and I'm looking for the other packet of it. Where did I put it? Over here. So what it actually is, it's by American Crafts, Sticky Thumb, Adhesive liner lifter is what they call it and she really actually got it in uh, i believe she got it as a free gift with one of her parcels and she didn't really feel that she was going to ever use it it comes with it's in a two pack and i've got to say i was playing with it i thought i'll give it a play with it see if it's any good for someone like me that i keep my fingernails cut short right because not for any reason, I love my nails long, but I don't like um, I don't like my natural nail long. I like it when I've got either um, S and S or something on top of my nails. But when I'm crafting all the time, I don't like spending the money on my nails to have nice long nails if I'm constantly in mixed media and all that sort of stuff. So. Anyway, 
I digress, let's come back to the sticky thumb thing. You can see it off to the right hand side there. It is brilliant. It's not actually sharp, but what it does, it just hooks on the end of the, you know when you use double sided tape and you sit there for ages trying to lift it up? This does it for you, it just lifts it straight up. And I was using it on some washi tape and you just grab it on the edge of the washi tape. You know when you're looking for the edge of the washi tape and you can't lift it off? Lifts it up for you. It is fantastic. Shirley, that is going to be one of my 2024 favorite products. I'll bet your boots on it. And it's a sticky thumb brand. I'm not sure. I will shoot Shirley a message and find out exactly where it came from. Um, it is brilliant. If you're like me and you don't have nails, game changer. So you will see that in a lot of my videos from now on. I can tell you right now. Now these are, these are some flowers that I have already stamped out and when I stamp my, my flowers or whatever I do, I do extras because I know that I'm going to use them down the track. Now this is the Paper Rose um, Daisy, what are they called? Daisy Days. Daisy Days stamps. I don't have the die for it. I just fussy cut them because they're so simple. And you can see some... Um, some leaves there sticking out they are some leftovers from my other paper rose i think they're called oh i can't remember what they're called now i'll write it in the description below but they are a paper rose stamp uh die stamp and die set as well and that was an investment but i'm really glad that i did because they're they're shapes that are pleasant to my eye. I know that sounds stupid, but there's always, um, we all like aesthetically pleasing things that are different. So what is this, what is aesthetically pleasing to me won't be to you. You know, it, it might be, but then it might not be because you might like really pointy leaves like palm leaves or, um, uh, let me think. You know, or like wild grass, you know, really pointy, spiky stuff. What is aesthetically pleasing to me is a nice, round, smooth, smooth sort of succulent type leaf. Um, you know, like a jade plant or something like that. So that's something that I like to bring into my scrappy space. So I decided that I was going to paint these with the oxides because I haven't used them for a little bit. I go through phases where... I'm using them in almost every single video and it'll get to the point where I'm like, I'm doing the voiceovers and I'm like, distress oxide, distress oxide, distress oxide. And as much as I love the products, do not get me wrong. I love all of them. I realize, hang on, I haven't used my watercolors for a bit. I have to get in and use my watercolor pencils. I, I'm using the inks all the time or I haven't used my sprays for a little bit. So I need to get in and use my sprays because I'm going to show all of the products some love and this is what I say to everybody, and I say this all the time. If you're going to invest in mixed media, if you're like me and you buy lots and lots of it, and you have to have almost every color of everything, you need to use it because it doesn't have unlimited shelf life. All of these products, especially the wet mediums, things like Lunar Paste and Nuvo Gels and all that sort of stuff, your modeling paste, your... All those things, because they're a wet medium, they have a shelf life. Depending where you live, you might be in a really humid climate or you might be in a really dry climate. And it, and the products are going to store very differently in both environments. So for me here, I abs oh, I how much do you love salvage patina? How gorgeous is that color? It is beautiful. I love salvage patina. Don't use it nearly enough. I always reach for peacock feathers. And I, again, I do, spoiler alert, I do that in a second, but the salvage patina is the most beautiful color. Honestly, if someone was to say to me, top five colors that you would recommend, it would have to be, oh, peacock feathers would definitely be in there. Lumberjack plaid, I reckon, lumberjack plaid, kitsch flamingo, Wild Honey, Salvage Patina, or Peacock Feathers, 
and maybe I'd say wilted violet. It's a little bit different to what most people would sort of say, but they're the colours that I would start off with because you can lighten them right back and they're dark enough that they'll hold their own. Love those colours. Absolutely love them. So I will have everything listed below that I've used here, guys. So as I'm waffling and rambling, it's because what's today? Today is, as my kids keep telling me all day long, it is Christmas Eve Eve. So um, it's a 20, Saturday the 23rd of December for us and I'm sitting here doing a few voiceovers while my, well, Ange is at work and Tay's gone to pick her up, Jen's gone with her and yeah, it's kind of, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit devastated but I'm not letting him know this. My poor husband was trying to help me because the other day I ran some stuff through my die cut machine and I was actually, I was, co I was copying, which is why I never copy people. <laughs> I saw Gina K doing a live the other day and she ran a stencil through her die cut machine and I saw the sandwich she had. I saw everything. It was all good. Anyway, the other day I thought, I never copy people when I see things like that because I always think to myself, be original, right? But I wanted to give it a crack and I wanted to have a play with it. So I did it and guess what I did? I absolutely muffed it up so badly that the cardboard somehow ended up going up inside my, I've got a Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine and it went up inside anyway my husband fixed it saved the day it's okay very hard to destroy these machines they're like full they're hardcore inside right anyway i decided today before i started doing these voiceovers that i was going to run a because i bought a few embossing folders and they had arrived and i hadn't played with them yet so i thought oh, i'll run a couple of those through and i was noticing that it wasn't um, giving me even pressure. Anyway, husband went and pulled it apart and he was having a look at it and he brought it in. He goes, it's not this part. It's got to be something. So I've established that it's probably my silicon rubber mat that's going through it. Um, it's possibly warped and I maybe just need to get a new one of them. And as he turned to walk back out, he dropped it and broke the handle. And he's broken it in a place that he can't fix it. So to say I'm devastated is one thing. But it's okay because I will get another one. I will get... Uh, he's going to endeavour to try and fix the... He can't fix the handle because it's it's cast, cast steel. It's like you can't weld it. You can't... There's nothing you can do with it. It's broken off so far down that you can't even drill through it like but we'll have to wait and see hopefully we can fix it otherwise it looks like I might be up for buying another one so and I have thought about buying an electric one I have had that idea in my head for a little while but I really like the idea of the big solid manual die, die cutting machine and the spellbinders machine has been amazing for me it is you know my first first one I ever bought and I absolutely love it just don't drop it. Apparently it doesn't like to bounce. So, um, yeah, so I will be dealing with that. Now, I'm going around and putting some of these clear crystal drops. These are um, clear dew drops, they're called. And I actually get mine. I've, I've got a mix of these here, so I'm going to tell you I get some of them from AliExpress and I get some of them that are here are from uniquely creative I think that's the only places I've bought the clear ones from so yeah so I'm just putting these in the centers I didn't want anything I wanted to try and keep this not glitter and not shimmer I wanted to keep this very muted tones because the filter that the girls have got behind them it it's made it feel very matte very not glossy if that makes sense so I'm I'm adding some clear dewdrops into the center of the flowers and just sprinkling a few of these clear ones 
around here and there you can see me going back in again getting some more you can see there in my little container I separate the sizes so the ones that I get from uniquely creative they actually come with a few in a few different sizes in the packet so I separate them out because sometimes I want tiny ones and sometimes I want big ones so um, in the center of these really large flowers I've put a large one and then I've gone around the outside of that and put some some of the smallest ones and it looks so cute it looks like um you know when you see the center of like a cone flower and they've got like all those um little lumps it, it looks really cute anyway so this is my layout guys I hope you've enjoyed it I've hoped you've enjoyed my waffle I will keep you up to speed with what I do with my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. I'm wondering if maybe I can get onto Spellbinders and does anyone know where you can get spare parts from? I'm going to put it out there. Let me know, please. Desperate. So, um, yeah, so this is my layout. I think this is about where I stop. I did bring in just a few liquid pearl drops and that's when I realized, not nah, keep it matte. I just put a few of them there, not, not too much. And that's my layout, guys. So thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is the second last one for the year. And I will be back with another video tomorrow. Don't forget, you've got the link to Facebook and Instagram in the link in the description. There's also a link in the description to buy me a coffee, which is where you can literally buy me a coffee and the money that you contribute goes directly back into supplies for the channel. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. See all those beautiful flowers with those dew drops dripping on them. They just look gorgeous. They look wet. I love that. So um, I'll be back tomorrow with another video and... You guys have to see my New Year's Day layout. I've done it and I love it. I absolutely love it. Love, 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 love it. So I'm really excited. I want to get to that one now. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching, guys. And I will definitely be back with you tomorrow. Bye for now.